Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about PCI requirement 643. Um, PCI requirement 643 talks about payment pages and scripts that are loaded by payment pages. Uh, it really goes into three key parts. The first part being that an organization is required to have a method implemented to confirm that each script is also authorized. So this would be something like SRI, um, making sure that some the browser has some way of validating the integrity of the script. And then the second part of the PCI requirement 643 is going to be a method to, um, implemented to ensure that uh, each script is authorized. So this is going to be something like a content security policy. Um, once again, this goes back to the browser, making sure that the scripts that are going to be loaded are going to be authorized to be loaded. And then the final part is probably one of the most interesting parts is that an inventory of all the scripts that are being used is maintained and a written justification is available for each of those. So as an organization, the organization is going to have to have a written justification that's defining A, what scripts are being used for this payment page. And then secondly, it's going to have to have the identification of why it's being used. So not only are we gonna be using these technical pieces where we're gonna be using SRI or the content security policy to make sure that the browser is only loading things it's supposed to, but we're also gonna have this business side of it, which is gonna to have to have the justification of why these scripts are being used um, in the pay payment page. So as an organization, we're gonna to need to have that documentation that's not only there, but it's also backing up the technical processes that we're using um, to make sure that these payment pages scripts are secured.